Hey everyone, welcome to a quick walkthrough tour thing of Stargate Command. Quick tip to anyone having trouble connecting, if you type in stargatecommand.co slash home, that should connect you instead of the regular link. Now this front page is pretty much advertises what each of the tabs at the top do. Um, you can look at the different series, categories of their feed, and then all the way at the bottom we have the different show tiles to take you directly to them. If we go ahead and click explore, that takes us to their feed page. There seems to be two main areas here on Stargate Command, MGM's post, which is right here, then fan posts over on the forums. In each, you can like, comment, share, and even rate the comments. There's polls, questionnaires, articles, uh, gallery pictures, a lot of really cool fan service type stuff. One thing that I should probably mention is that the comments section doesn't seem to have like a reply function, so there isn't any conversation threading or anything like that. That would be nice to have added in the future though, uh, but for right now, no. Now let's go over to the all section, look through all of the different types of stuff they've posted so far to give you an idea of, you know, the type of stuff they're going to be doing. Pretty cool stuff. Now, over on the forums, this is what all of the users post, um, which acts in much of the same way. The weird difference about this, I suppose, is the language filter that seems to be going through the site. It's pretty strict. Over here, the beginning part of hello was censored, as well as many other examples. Hopefully this gets addressed soon, because honestly, it just looks a bit silly. Now back towards the top, there's also a following tab. It lets you, well, of course, follow people through their profile page. Now, the all access button. Apparently, if you are a member or not, this takes you to the information page about what the purchase is. Right now, it seems to be down. Um, the site is still in construction, but it was up last night. Now, the side menu kind of gives you the same things that the tabs give you with the exception of the profile links. Let's take a look at the streaming collection. Here of course we have all three shows and their seasons. One of the episodes we'll look at so I can show you the player. Thankfully the player itself isn't glitchy but you will notice that there's some weird white lines on the top of them. I mean, on the positive note, we don't have the MGM logo on the bottom, but still, those artifacts remind me of someone trying to record ABHS. Here's a comparison of streaming quality. Especially if you're listening with headphones, there is a sharp difference, not to mention the weird video artifacts. I'm hoping this is just because the SGC is newly launched, but with the way they post things on YouTube, well... Anyway, over on the movies, we have all three of those as well. And some empty space to grow, potentially, hopefully. Just to note, Hulu doesn't provide the Stargate movies, so SGC would be the destination for the complete live-action collection. Lastly, here's a quick look at the profile page. Those currency coins are actually gained through likes and activity on the feed and forms, which is a neat tool for engagement. Also, the mobile app seems to have launched successfully on Android, iOS, however, seems to be having a weird kind of launch. Some people can find it, some people can't. I've heard that it helps to find Stargate Command by not putting a space in between, but I have yet to find it. That wraps up the tour of the Stargate Command platform. Let me know if you have any questions, as well as your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.